This is just a quick video on two dual slot M.2 drives to serial ATA. Um, the reason I'm going to be testing these is because the NAS drive only has one uh, single drive space for a, an SSD, but I've always wanted to do a mirror uh, on it or a RAID 1. And um, because there's only one slot, I decided to just use solid state drives. These are the uh, serial SSD. It's not uh, the fastest one, but as you can see, they're just two fifty sixes. So got these all on Amazon. We're gonna try these. Um, I haven't opened them yet, so. Let's see what, hold on, let me see if I can show you a better picture. That's what that one looks like. And this one doesn't have a cover or anything. Um, I read different things on, on both, so I want to see which one works best. But I think one of the problems that people may be having is that they bought the wrong type of uh, SSD drive or M. M.2 drive. This is just for serial ATA, which is slower than the NV. So let me see here. This is all we got. So let me take them out and I'll show you in a sec. So this is what they look like. Let me give you a close up. This one doesn't have a cover, it's just a plain board. But there you go, it's got two M.2. Uh, B key. So, there are a lot of different ones, and I believe I got the right one. So, I did look at the specs on the SSD, so I'll have to check, double check that because of the uh, connector there. And here is the other one. You get it? That one has a screwdriver. You got uh, two sets of those. One was in the bag. One was in there, so that's really nice. And then the small screws for the cover. So here you go. That's the set right there, and I believe they do. They both do raid. So there is that. Here is the cover for that one. Uh, somebody mentioned, or some of the reviews mentioned something about heat, but something like this, I wouldn't be too worried about it unless you're running some games or something but I'm not doing that it's just for the OS so let me see here if you look down here made in Taiwan um, they both should be that's the number and there you go. Obviously, I got to look at the manual for whatever I want to use it as. So let's take a look at this one. Um, does it say where it's made? I don't know. Uh, made in Taiwan as well. And um, the reason I got these two is because these were the only two that actually had the dual uh, mirror, or not mirror, uh, RAID function on them. Um, so I got the smallest 256s. I got two of those. Those were the uh, lower cost uh, ones, and they seem to uh, work with this specs. Uh, let me see here. Uh, and the two um, MGFF SSD. I think it had the uh, different numbers of what this one supports, but I'm sure it's in the manual there somewhere. And this one is what do we got here? Trying to see if they say what the connector is on it, but I don't see that. 
So serial ATA SSD, and that's usually your uh, first uh, key of what you want to look at because that's what this support. And let me see, just a quick video on those. Um, I haven't used them yet, so we'll see how that goes and see if I can mirror uh, the OS because that drive is giving me some errors. So. I'm tired of that, so I'm just going to try and do a mirror, or RAID 1. I keep saying mirror, but RAID 1, and we'll see how that goes. Well, this is pretty neat. They do give you a screwdriver with the uh, uh, screw for your drive. Oh, this thing is tiny. So let me put it on there, and let me see if I can. If I got the right one. I think I did, maybe. All right, in case you guys haven't done this before, you literally have to take the board out of the uh, case because if you look over here, you only have are the holes. And these are the three pieces you need. So that goes, so let me see if I can show you actually. If you look on the top of that. Okay, it won't focus, but there is a tiny hole for that screw, and there's a nut that goes on the bottom of this one, of that screw there. So basically, you have to put this on the top, because you have to set whatever size you're using. In my case, I'm using the uh, 2280. So now that that's there, I need to put the, let me see here. The nut on the bottom so I'll do that and then a tiny screw goes on the top as you can see here this is the screw that came with uh, the other box I think but this one is actually smaller or short uh, longer excuse me than the one that came with this three uh, pieces for the board so you definitely want to use this one not the longest one because it's not going to work you're going to be sticking up there and you need to use the smallest one so a little tedious trying to get this on there and this memory or this uh, ssd actually goes in just like a memory on your laptop so don't try to put it in flat it's going to be an angle put it in there and then push it down and that'll do it however Mine has two slots. This one only has one. So I got to double check and make sure that this works with this. I know it's supposed to. I looked at the specs, but I want to triple check that. However, another thing I noticed on that one, this the memory, or I keep saying memory, uh, the SSD fits a little tighter, but it's the same. They're both the same, so... Just uh, something to keep in mind. Also, this one here, I have some uh, switches for the uh, settings that I want to use for the RAID 0, RAID 1, or uh, just a bunch of drives. So the manual tells you what to use on this one. On the other one, it has jumpers. So the manual tells you which jumpers to use if you want to use RAID 1 for example or RAID 0 or whatever. Um, they're similar but I like the switches better because then you know you just flip it to whatever you need. Um, the pins you know they get lost or whatever but that's the only main difference so far. I did test this memory over there it does fit so I'm gonna keep doing this but just wanted to do a quick video on that since um, when you get them, all you get is a bunch of holes. There are no threads on these. You have to use the uh, this part here because it does have a hole on the top for the screw to hold the memory like that. As you can see, it's higher. And again, the bottom. I have to put the nut here. And I'll let it drop so you can see it's just a, a hole. And on this one, 
you look, it's actually sort of a spacer. It's actually different than that one. This is sort of a three piece here. And here we have two screws, one on the top like that. and then the spacer and then another screw on the bottom. So they are a little different. The concept is the same, but just something to note. 